Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel ML4 Analytics. Today we will be covering the card visual in Power So for this video, I I am using Pontoso database and I have already created a measure sum of sales amount which is shown over here. And as you can see that I am basically iterating on fact sales table and summing the sales amount. I'm using some X function for this, which is an iterator function. So let's get to the topic of the video. The card visual is basically found in the visualization pane on fourth column and fourth row, which is over here. As you can see, uh, a pop up has already come, which says that it's basically a card visual. If you are going to click on it, uh, you are going to get uh, the card visual. So I'm going to align it to center. And as you can see, uh, the input includes just one input, which is basically the field. So I'm going to drag and drop this measure over here. As you can see, since no filter context is propagating currently in the report, so it is going to give me the total sum of sales amount, which is $12.41 billion, right? And also you can see that not only this number, uh, it basically uh, sum of sales amount, which is again a category name, is shown over here. This is same as the name of this measure or the name of this field, which is given over here. So if you kind of change the name uh, over here by maybe uh, double clicking on it, so say you basically are going to choose some and like some sales amount or maybe something like that, then it will change accordingly. So I will be keeping off for now. So I'll do the same. So after this, I'm going to get you introduced to the format pane and from format pane, you can basically format this particular visual. So first of all, let me go to general and over here, you can change the X position, which is 500 right now, the Y position, uh, 220 uh, right now. So basically X position is this position. Uh, so the leftmost part of the report is actually the zero X position. And as you move right, uh, the X position will increase, right? So this is actually, you can imagine it as a, as a kind of partition plane, uh, having origin over something like this, uh, where my pointer is right now. So uh, increasing X is going to take you over here uh, as, as in it is going to take the visual towards the right. And uh, so sorry, uh, increasing by it's, it's actually do uh, another thing. So if I increase Y over here, say keep, take it to 250. So it is going to take it down, right? So if I in, keep it to 300, then as you can see, it is again going to, uh, I mean, take it uh, further down. So this is how uh, they work. Now width is actually the width of this visual, height is the height of this visual, which is 280 by default. Um, so data label is actually this label, which is shown over here at $12.41 billion. And you can change the color if you want. You can choose a dynamic color of this data visual if you want by clicking on this fx or function over here. So if you have any any field uh, which you can use in order to do the conditional formatting or conditional, conditional coloring of this data label, then please use that. Uh, display unit is auto by default. You can change the display unit to say none if you want, again, it's going to give me a, give me the full number. I don't want that, so I'm going to keep it as auto only. So value of uh, decimal places is currently it's two by default. You change it to any other thing if you want. So changing it to zero is going to make them disappear, and I will keep them for now. Text size is 45. You can 
increase or decrease the uh, text size if you want, right? And font family is 10, so spacing is currently on. Category is on by default, so people usually like to keep it on, right? You can change the color of this category if you want. Category is basically the name of the field which you are using. So it is sum of sales amount, right? And if you want, you can increase its size and you can change the family if you want. Uh, word wrap is, uh, is on by default. You can switch on the title if you want. Uh, say I name it as card. Uh, so Again, uh, you can change the color if you want. You can change the background if you want. If, like I can choose, I can choose this color. So it is going to give me this background, right? And uh, if I align it to center, uh, the card uh, will. This title will come at the center. And if I want to increase the text size, I can do so. And I can also change the font family if I want. So I'm going to disable it for now. And background color is on by default and it's set to white currently. I can change it to the color of my choice. And as you can see, it has changed, right? Uh, I can actually play with the transparency if I want a lighter shade of this color. So I can adjust the transparency according to my needs, right? and lock aspect is off by default also this border is currently off i can switch it on and the color is black by default i can change the radius of this border if i want and as you can see it will appear something like this right so uh shadow is off by default if i switch it on uh, as you can see see a shadow has uh, it has come uh, underneath this vision right and I can change the color if I want I can change the shadow position if I want keeping it inside is going to give me this kind of view kind of uh, you can say 3d kind of view and I can change the preset to say if I change it to top left so it is going to come like this I'll Keep it as bottom right for now and again uh, you can also uh, change the color of shadow and you can dynamically uh, you can basically use this fx or you can choose this function and you can use conditional uh, coloring of shadow if you want right based on some field of your choice and by default tooltip is off so if you're going to hover over this visual then it is going to give you uh, the data label right which is 12.41 billion dollars by default but if you switch on the tooltip and if you do the same then you get this uh, tooltip in front of you which which says that some of sales amount is 12.41 billion dollars right so then comes visual header so it is basically this header uh, header above the visual as in the which actually shows you the filters and slicers affecting this visual so basically it is actually showing you different icons based on different things and uh, this uh, icon also so uh, background color is white by default border is also white by default transparency is actually zero percent and you can change the transparency say if i change the background color to say yellow then i can actually change the transparency if i want so in this way it is going to work right disabling the visual header is going to uh, take away that right so as you can see, uh, I mean, it appears in this in this manner. I mean, it's kind of transparent. And if I switch it on, then if I click on it uh, again, uh, it's it's appearing like this because transparency is 
45 percent if i keep it to zero percent then it's not going to come so if you switch it off then all the icons which come in front of you based on different scenarios uh based based on the data that you are using or any other thing that they are not going to come so like visual information icon will not pop up warning icon will not pop up error icon will not pop up and etc so drop down icon or drill up icon all these icons are not going to appear if you switch it off right if i go to analytics pane over here then it says that analytics features aren't available for this region so this has been mentioned clearly by microsoft that for this card visual analytics features they are not available right so guys with this i conclude this video if you like this video please hit on the like button let us know about your feedback by commenting on this video share this video and subscribe to our channel thank you